Heolite Free Air Vented Airbag Jacket. First things first, the Heolite Free Air Vented Jacket is an airbag for your body. If inside a car you have concealed airbags that will instantaneously deploy in the unfortunate event of a hard enough crash. On a motorcycle, you have to use a different kind of protection. Heolite is in the business of putting airbags into motorcyclist apparels, whether jacket or vest. The technology for both products is essentially the same known as Turtle Airbag Technology. The airbag in this jacket is mechanically triggered and fully deployed in 100 milliseconds. It can be used multiple times without having to return it to factory for servicing. Replacement cartridge also is affordable. Additional protections include SAS Tech Level 2 armor for the back, neck protection, thorax and rigid materials in shoulders, elbows, hip and abdomen areas. Cosmo Moto Unlike a usual brake light in the back of your two-wheelers, the Cosmo Moto is meant to be attached to the back of your helmet. It is compatible with just about every commercially available helmet, even for bicyclers. The idea behind Cosmo Moto is to allow for greater visibility of your deceleration. Each time you slow down by braking, the release of throttle, a bump, or engaging the clutch, Cosmo Moto at the back of your helmet will emit a red light. Because your helmet is presumably at the eye level of drivers or riders behind you, they have unobstructed sight of the light, leading to a safer travel on the road. The brake light is equipped with 3-axis accelerometer, speed variation detection, and 3-axis rate sensor, angular velocity measurement to detect a deceleration and a fall. You should also pair it with Cosmo Connected app on your phone, so the device can immediately alert friends and families in case you have an accident. iRide HUD Created by former Airbus and BMW engineers, the iRide HUD for helmet is a tiny high-tech projector equipped with voice commands to keep you informed about important things on the go without taking your eyes off the road. The projector uses Nano HD OLED technology from Sony to produce 3,000 nits of brightness. That is three times better than an iPhone screen under direct sunlight. With voice command feature and small remote button attached to the handlebar, you can accept or make phone calls and play music without even touching the phone. Best of all, iRide HUD is a standalone, easy to install device that works with just every helmet out there, even bicycle helmets if you want. Quadlock Fork Stem Mount When you need just the right placement of smartphone mounts on your motorcycle, then the Fork Stem Mount by Quadlock should be at the top of your list. Unlike a typical mount that wraps around the handlebar, this one is securely attached to the tube of motorcycle's fork stem. Bear in mind that such mounting method only works with hollow steering tube. Once installed, the mount, and therefore the phone, should be directly in line with the steering axis. It will turn as you turn. The dead nuts center by default, and then you can tilt the adjustable arm to get the perfect viewing angle. Another feature is the twist and pull, which the company calls dual stage locking mechanism, to prevent the phone from accidentally falling off the mounts, even on a bumpy road. Fork stem mount is compatible with quad lock cases and universal adapter. Dynamoto The most impressive part of Dynamoto motorcycle stand is its omnidirectional wheels called Rotocaster. The overall design of the product looks like any typical set of race stands, which lifts both motorcycle wheels off the ground. Unlike race stands, however, Dynamoto makes it much easier to transport or at least move the bike around in any direction thanks to Rotocaster. A set of Dynamoto contains front wheel and rear wheel stands. The multi-directional wheel consists of three wheel plates positioned in a fixed orientation to rotate forward and backward. 
Every single plate also has eight polyurethane rollers that roll sideways. Each stand uses three rotocaster wheels. As a result, you can move a motorcycle on the stands in all directions. Garmin Zumo XT Among all vehicle navigational system makers in existence, Garmin stands at the top. Over the years, it has manufactured myriads of GPS devices for cars, motorcycles, mountain climbers, and athletes. Most, if not all of their products, come with free lifetime map updates, including the Zumo XT. With its bright, glove-friendly 5.5-inch screen, Zumo XT is an easy-to-use and feature-rich navigational device for motorcycle. When you wear a Bluetooth-enabled helmet, you can also hear spoken turn-by-turn -turn direction and various traffic alerts. Thinkwear Sports M1 Your motorcycle may need a dash cam too, but it doesn't have a dashboard, so you mount it on the handlebar, above the mirror, or anywhere else you see fit. The same thing applies to the rear camera. Each of the cameras uses 2.13 megapixel Sony Starvis lens to record in full HD at 30 frames per second, with a 140 degree viewing angle. They are IP66 rated because you need them to function well regardless of the weather condition. Sports M1 comes with built-in Wi-Fi to send recorded footage directly to your smartphone. The cameras are supposed to be hardwired to the motorcycle battery, so they turn on and off automatically with the vehicle ignition. Senna 10C Pro A small camera mounted on a helmet is hardly a rare sight these days. Riders love to record their journey off the beaten path and upload the footage to social media, then brag. More importantly, having a clear footage may save you from insurance disputes of any sort. When a camera along is no longer enough, the Senna 10C Pro is worth considering. It is not just a camera, but also a four-way intercom. Recording function is powered by a 3.7 megapixel lens that saves your footage in 2K resolution at 30 frames per second. Field of view is quite good as well, covering 135 degree angle. In case you need to ride in a group, Senna 10C Pro allows for four people to stay in touch within a mile radius. When connected to a smartphone, it can play music and spoken navigation. Rome Zeros Motorcycle shoes, or more commonly referred to as shorty boots, can look a lot like kid shoes because they have blinking lights. These are not just ordinary lights, but ones that work in conjunction with brake and turn signals. Shorty boots are purpose-built to increase visibility to drivers or riders behind you in order to reduce the risk of road accidents, especially at nighttime. Shorty boots from Rome are called Zeros. For the boots to work, you must add wireless relay box to the light system on your motorcycle. The built-in wireless receiver in the boot will turn on its red lights when braking and yellow lights when the turn signals are on. Fobo Bike 2 Tire pressure monitoring system comes pre-built with many new motorcycle models. In case your bike has no such feature, Fobo Bike 2 has you covered. This particular TPMS is both easy to install and understated because you don't want your valve caps to attract too much attention. Just like a lot of motorcycle gadgets in the market, Fobo Bike 2 must be connected to a smartphone app to work, this time via Bluetooth. Once the pressure sensors are installed, front and rear wheels as well as air shock, and they are connected properly to the app, your phone screen should display all the data you need including current pressure and temperature inside the tires. These valve caps will not inflate or deflate the tire, 
but they give you an alert each time the pressure is too low or too high, depending on the parameters you set. Live All Smart Motorcycle Helmet Unveiled among hundreds of innovative new products during the CES 2020 was the Smart Motorcycle Helmet from Live All. For about six years now, the Chinese company has been known to specialize in helmets for skiing and cycling. But apparently, it is now in the process of expanding the market to motorcycle helmet as well. The helmet features built-in front-facing 4K camera and two front lights. The back of the lid is attached with taillights, which works as both brake and turn signals. On top of the visor opening mechanism on each side, you get a circular button to access more functionalities such as phone calls and GPS. There is also a HUD inside the helmet to project relevant information, including speed, navigation, caller ID, battery life and alerts.